Listen to this message, my beloved son, with an open heart. I speak directly to you so that you understand the importance of what is about to happen. There is something that you do not see, but it is approaching quickly. It is not just a sign, but an urgent warning. A person very close to you, someone you love, is going through an internal battle that you may not have noticed. The circumstances of this battle are invisible to human eyes, but I see what is hidden, and that is why I speak to you. Now, the situation is serious and will require you to be by this person's side with all your love and faith. I urge you not to ignore the signs. Even in small conversations and the most subtle attitudes, I am showing you that something is out of place. There is a problem, a pain that has not yet been expressed, or a weight in the heart of that person that they have not shared. But my grace can change this story and you are part of it. I need you to understand that time is passing and decisions must be made before the year ends. The enemy is trying to confuse your thoughts, making you believe that everything is under control, but it is not. There are things that you do not see that are about to be revealed. When these situations come to light, regret may knock on the door. But I do not want that for you. I want to give you the opportunity to intervene before it is too late. The choices you make now can change the course of this story. And I am equipping you with wisdom and discernment. You are not alone in this. Remember, God gives me wisdom. Your voice has power. Don't let the enemy convince you otherwise. You can do nothing because things have already been decided. I am the God who changes everything and I can transform what seems impossible. The life of the one you love is not in the hands of circumstance. It is in my hands. But you need to do your part. Pray and talk to me with sincerity. Do not be afraid to ask for the impossible, for I am the God of the impossible. With God, everything is possible. The angels around you are ready to act, but they wait for you to open your spiritual eyes and see beyond the visible. There is a battle in progress that involves the heart of someone you love and time is running out. Do not be fooled by the appearance of calm. The storm can arrive unexpectedly. But if you are attentive and prepared, you will be able to get through it. Trust in God's protection. There is a dangerous path ahead, and you must be firm in your decisions. Do not allow fear to paralyze you. I have given you courage and strength to face any adversity no matter what the enemy tries to bring into your life. I am bigger than any threat, but you must believe in this. You must be prepared to fight with the faith that is already in your heart. Remember, every choice has consequences, and your actions today will influence the future of those around you. It is not just about you. It is about all those you love, your family, your friends, and all those who walk beside you. When you decide to follow my voice, you open the way for light to enter the lives of those people. Choose to follow the light of God. Time is passing, and there are important decisions to make. Do not procrastinate what you know you must do now. I am giving you the opportunity to act and change the course of something that could end in pain, but the change depends on your willingness to listen and obey. If you trust, 
I will guide you along a path of healing and restoration. When you put your trust in me, the impossible will begin to happen. What seemed lost will be restored. What seemed dark will be illuminated and what seemed without a solution will find a way out. I am the God of new opportunities and today I give you a new chance to do things differently. Pain is not your destiny and regret is not the end of this story. Finally, I want to remind you of something. Nothing is impossible for me. No situation, no matter how complicated it may seem, is out of my reach. I am the Lord who transforms tears into laughter, pain into joy, and despair into hope. What you need to do now is trust. Trust in my timing, trust in my direction, and trust that I am taking care of everything, even when you don't understand. I am giving you a new vision, showing you what is beyond what your eyes can see. Now, it is up to you to make the decision to follow my voice. And I promise that I will be with you every step of this journey. What I am going to tell you now is the next step that will change everything. You already understand that something is happening, something that I need you to see with your heart, not just with your eyes. Now the time has come to act with the faith that I gave you. The truth is that the enemy does not rest. He wants to confuse you. He wants you to believe that time is your ally and that you can still wait. But I tell you, don't wait any longer. Doubt can be the difference between healing and suffering, between peace and turmoil. You have a crucial role in this story. The love you carry in your heart is the key to opening doors that seem closed. What you do, the words you say, your presence, these all have a greater impact than you imagine. Perhaps you have not yet seen how much your faith can move mountains, but I am showing you. Yes, you have the power because I am with you. What you are facing is only part of what is happening in the invisible realm. There are angels fighting on your behalf, removing obstacles and destroying traps that you did not even imagine. I have already sent reinforcements and made everything available to you that you need to overcome. However, there is something that still depends on you. Your decision to trust me completely, without doubt and without reservations. The road ahead may seem difficult, but I am the one who makes the impossible come true. Trust in the Lord without hesitation. Let me tell you something profound that few understand. Sometimes the greatest victories occur in the quietest moments, not always in the noise of war. The miracle manifests itself in the stillness of a heart that knows how to wait. In me, you will need patience, not a passive patience, but an active patience that trusts in each step and does not allow itself to be affected by circumstances. While you wait, I work. While you pray, I move the pieces. Your heart needs to be anchored in me, firm as a rock. Right, God, take care of me and mine. Do you want to know what will happen next? I will tell you, but only if you truly believe. When your heart is aligned with my will, when you do what I ask of you, even if it is difficult, even if it hurts, even if the world says otherwise, then you will see the impossible happen. 
the disease that seemed incurable will begin to recede, the tears that have rolled down your face will be transformed into joy, and the weight you carry will be lifted. I am not promising a life without challenges, but I guarantee that in each of them, I will be by your side, giving you the necessary strength to continue. With faith, I continue with the strength of God. There is something important for you to understand now, something that can change the course of this battle, the power of your words. Every time you declare faith, you push away the darkness. Every time you speak life into a situation, you destroy the lies of the enemy. Do not underestimate the impact of what comes out of your mouth. What you say from now on can seal the fate of this fight. So speak life, speak healing, speak hope. I see what you do not see. I know what is ahead. What is coming is greater than you can imagine, but it needs to begin now. Do not let uncertainty paralyze your steps. I made you to advance, to conquer, to bring down giants. I will tell you more. The giant that you face today will be the test of my glory tomorrow. This will all pass, but the victory will remain. When people look at you, they will know that it was not because of your strength, but because of mine. Finally, I want you to keep this promise. I will never leave you. No matter what happens, no matter what you face, I am the God who goes ahead, who opens the sea, who collapses walls. And if I am with you, who can be against you? Nothing. No one. The end of this story has already been written, and it is an ending of victory. You only need to walk with me until the end. Comment. I walk with God until the end. Write these words in your heart and live for them, because the promise I make to you is true and eternal. You will overcome, you will conquer, because I am the one who carries you in my hands. I know the thoughts I have about you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you the end you hope for. Jeremiah 29:11. This verse is a powerful reminder that God has a plan for each of us, even when we face difficult times or when things are not working for our good. God does not wish evil for anyone but a future of hope and peace. His plans are always superior to ours, and He sees beyond the current circumstances preparing a path of victory. Sometimes we are impatient. But God guarantees us that in His perfect time, what He promised will come true. It is not necessary to fear the future because the Lord already knows it and wants the best for us. Trusting in His plans brings us peace, even in the midst of the storm. Comment. I trust in God's plan. Write this carefully because these are words directly from my heart to yours. You have been placed in this world with a unique purpose, a purpose that only you can fulfill. No matter what others say or what the world tries to make you believe, I created you with a specific mission and within you, from the first breath, I put everything necessary to fulfill that mission. You are a divine creation, full of purpose. When you forget this, it's like denying a part of who you really are. When you doubt yourself, you're actually doubting me. Let me assure you, life has challenges and moments that seem heavy, but it's all part of a journey much greater than what you can see now. Every struggle, every tear, every smile, Everything is intertwined in the great plan I have for you. Believe that even in your weaknesses, I am present, shaping you, 
strengthening you and preparing you for something greater. The truth is that you are never alone, even when everything seems to fall apart. When the weight of the world seems unbearable, I am there, holding each piece and helping you carry what you think you cannot. I am your rest when fatigue overtakes you. Remember that I am the one who renews your strength. When doubts come, I am the one who brings you clarity. Son, I tell you this. The voices around you may try to lead you astray. But within you, I have already planted the truth. Right I hear the voice of God within me. That is the only voice you need to follow, because I will never guide you towards something that is not good for you. When the path seems dark and the options are confusing, listen to my voice. It will guide you where you need to go, even if at first you don't understand why. Now listen, don't be afraid of the future. Many times, fear disguises itself as caution, but what it really does is paralyze you. I created you to go beyond fear, beyond the limitations that the world tries to impose on you. Trust in the future that God is preparing for you. Every step you take, even if it seems small, is part of something great that is being built around you. I promise you that no effort, no battle you face by faith, will be in vain. Write, I am strong because God sustains me. You have been through so much, you have faced storms that you thought you would not survive. But here you are. This is proof that there is a strength within you that goes beyond what you can imagine. That strength comes from me and it never leaves you. You are not alone in your battles. I fight with you and for you. Pay close attention. The people around you will not always understand what I am doing in your life. They may even try to discourage you from pursuing the dreams that I have planted within you. But I ask you, my son, do not let yourself be discouraged. Each person has their own path and yours is unique. Believe that you have an identity that no one can imitate. As for the mistakes of the past and the choices you wish you could change, know that I do not judge you for them. I am the God of redemption, the God of second chances, and the God of renewal. Your past does not define your future. I am more interested in your heart and your willingness to move forward, even after falling. Every mistake is an opportunity to learn, grow, and draw closer to me. I will never leave you on the ground. I always extend my hand to lift you up because my grace is enough for you. No matter what happens or what the world throws at you, my grace sustains you. You don't need to strive to deserve it. It is already yours. All you need to do is accept it. No matter what you do, wherever you go or how you feel, my love for you never changes. It is constant and immutable. Even when you can't feel it, it is there, enveloping and protecting you. I will never abandon you. Rise today with this certainty. You are mine. You have been chosen by me and molded by my hands. The future that I have for you is full of hope, joy, and peace. I am God, and nothing can change that. When difficult days come and doubts surround you, remember that I am here, always with you, guiding and loving you. Embrace the transformation that I am working in your life. What you don't see, I am already preparing. Sometimes change comes slowly, almost in silence, like a seed germinating underground. No one sees what happens deep down, 
but life is being born. So it is with you. Every step you take, no matter how small it may seem, is paving the way for a harvest that will surprise you. I know that at times you look at your surroundings and it seems that things don't fit, that promises take time to be fulfilled. But here is a truth I want you to deeply understand. Time has never been an enemy. It is my ally in shaping you. What takes time to arrive is what is being prepared with perfection. It is not a coincidence that you are where you are, nor that the answers have not yet arrived as you expected. Everything has a purpose, and my plan is bigger than your eyes can see. I ask you to keep believing, even when everything seems the same. What I am doing is not just for a moment, it's for your entire life. You're about to see the transformation you seek, not only in your circumstances, but also in yourself. This transformation begins with your trust in me and will be reflected in everything you touch. Don't worry about the doors that have closed. I am opening others that you have not yet seen. The path may seem dark, but I am the light that never goes out. Today, rise and embrace the peace that comes from this certainty. You are not alone. You have never been. I am shaping something great, something that goes far beyond your immediate desires. Your tears have not been in vain. I have collected them all. The joy that I promise you is not fleeting. It is deep, solid, and about to blossom. The patience that I ask of you is not a punishment, it is preparation. The time you wait is the time I am adjusting the details so that everything is perfect. What I have for you is unique, made just for you. If your heart feels that this word is for you, hold on to the peace and remain firm. For what I am doing for you is beyond what you can imagine. When you least expect it, you will look back and understand every step, every moment, every silence. And you will realize that everything has been part of something much bigger than you thought. Trust in the plan and know that the best is yet to come. For I am the God who does the impossible. Before the end of this month, I, the Almighty God, will give you a reason to celebrate. I am pouring blessings upon you, a rain that will touch all areas of your life. Your finances will grow, and the healing you have long awaited will come, cleansing the ailments that afflict you at the moments you need it most. Miracles will appear as signs of my provision and care. Believe and acknowledge that the impossible is about to happen. Trust me and do not be discouraged. My word is faithful and I will fulfill everything I promised. Prepare to see my grace and my power operating in your life in ways you never imagined. The future is shining with my presence. The doors that seemed closed will be opened and the path that seemed difficult will be paved. Trust and embrace this hope, for you will soon see a new season of victories and miracles arriving quickly. I am working in every detail, even if you do not perceive it. What seems like a delay to you is actually my perfect timing. I am working on your life so carefully that when the blessing comes, you will understand that everything happened at the exact moment it was meant to. Right, I am ready. If you are prepared to receive what I am bringing. Son, know that I am not only changing what surrounds you, 
but I am also transforming your heart, your mind, and strengthening your faith. Believe in what you desire so much. It is not just a matter of waiting, but of trusting my process. I am the God who sees beyond what you can imagine, and I am already molding you for something greater. Right, I move forward if you trust that the best is yet to come. Now, stand firm. I am preparing you to be a blessing in the lives of others. Do not let yourself be discouraged by difficulties, for in them I strengthen you. Every struggle you face has a purpose, and I am using everything to bring you to a place of growth and abundance. What I am doing in your life is far greater than merely meeting your immediate needs. I am training you to prosper in all areas. Write, I believe, and comment if you feel that my hand is upon you. Son, I want you to come closer to me. Three things will help you do this. Prayer, the study of my word, and communion with others who also seek me. Prayer is not just about asking. It is about talking with me sharing your thoughts, your joys, and your sorrows. I am always listening. My word is your guide. Study it, and do not forget to meet with other children of mine, for in communion, faith is strengthened. Write gold and comment if you are ready to draw nearer to me. Son, I know the worries that weigh on your heart, but do not fear. I am taking care of everything. Nothing escapes me and no situation is impossible for me. Prepare yourself for what I am pouring out on you will surprise you. I will bless you in such a way that you will be a blessing to others. Right, I accept. If you are prepared to receive the best from me, you are being polished for something that goes beyond your imagination. Every challenge you face is not there to tear you down, but to strengthen you. It is like the fire that purifies gold. The heat may seem unbearable, but in the end, the brilliance is incomparable. I tell you, you will shine like never before. There are days when you wonder why certain paths have been closed or why some doors have shut before you. God closes doors that would not lead you to your purpose. It is not rejection. It is protection. I see what you do not see. Those opportunities that you thought were perfect could have diverted your path and taken you away from what I have prepared for you. I only open the doors that lead to your true destiny. Write 0202. What God has for you is bigger than anything you can plan. This is something I need you to accept with all your being. Sometimes your plans are good, but I have something extraordinary in store for you. Don't settle for the mediocre that seems certain. I created you for great things and I will not allow you to live less than that. Believe in the process. I am in control, and my plan for you is perfect. Now pay attention. You will face people who do not understand what I am doing to you. They will question you, try to discourage you, and want you to follow the path that seems easier and more common. But I tell you, you were not made to follow the crowd. You were made to lead others with your light. Your bravery in following the path I show you, even when it seems lonely, will inspire others to do the same. Comment, wheat, 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 wheat. God is preparing you for something extraordinary because that is what I have for you. Know, son, that in the midst of this preparation, I am taking care of every detail. 
You think you are waiting for me, but in reality, I am preparing the ground for you to walk safely without setbacks. I am adjusting each piece, each person, each situation, so that when you move forward, nothing prevents you from achieving what I have promised you. Right? What God began in me, He will finish it. I do not abandon unfinished works. What I started in your life will be completed, and it will be in a way that will surprise you. It will be better than you imagine, greater than you expect, and more beautiful than you dream. I tell you, the future that awaits you is one of peace, plenitude, and purpose. When you get there, you will look back and understand that every step was worth it. Nothing was in vain. Every tear, every smile, every prayer was heard, and everything worked together for the good that is to come. So rise today with this confidence. I am walking in God's perfect plan, and never forget, I am your guide. I am your strength. I am the one who never fails. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. Proverbs 3, 5. This verse reminds us of the importance of placing our complete trust in God, even when circumstances seem uncertain or confusing. Many times we try to understand and control everything around us using only our logic and experiences. However, God calls us to put aside the desire to depend exclusively on our own understanding. He sees what we cannot see and knows what is best for us. When we fully trust in the Lord, we open ourselves to receive divine wisdom that goes beyond our understanding. This does not mean that we ignore reason, but rather that we recognize that God has a much greater and perfect plan. He guides us along the right paths, even when they do not make sense to us at the moment. Son, you have already begun to walk a path of greatness, but there is even more to discover. Let me reveal something profoundly important to you. As you walk, you are not only changing your life, but also influencing the world around you in ways you may not even realize. Every choice you make, every act of kindness, and every moment you stand up against injustice creates ripples that extend far beyond what your eyes can see. Think of the stars, son. They shine in the sky and light up the dark night. But we never know for sure which of them is making the most difference in our lives. Their light travels through space, touching hearts and guiding travelers on their path. In the same way, your actions, no matter how small they may seem, have the power to illuminate the lives of those around you and even create changes that span generations. Now imagine yourself as a lighthouse amidst a storm. The lighthouse serves not only as a point of reference, but also as a source of hope and direction for those navigating uncertain seas. You are that lighthouse lighting the way for those who find themselves lost, discouraged, or without hope. Even when your strength seems exhausted, your light continues to shine and provide guidance. There is something else I want you to understand. The power of your words and actions. Every word you speak and every gesture of love can be an echo that resonates for a long time. Sometimes, one word of encouragement can change the course of someone's life. A simple act of generosity can start a chain of events that transforms not only an individual, but an entire community. When you face challenges, don't forget that you are writing your own story. Each chapter, even the most difficult ones, 
presents opportunities to show courage, resilience, and faith. Remember that the greatest stories of triumph emerge from the greatest adversities. Just as a diamond forms under pressure, you too become stronger and brighter through your trials. By facing your fears, don't worry about failures or the moments when you feel you haven't achieved what you wanted. Every mistake is a lesson, and every fall is an opportunity to rise again stronger. I see every effort you make, every step you take with faith, and every attempt you make to overcome your limits. Don't allow yourself to be sidetracked by the fear of the unknown. Sometimes, the most challenging path is the one that will lead you to the greatest achievements. Trust in yourself and in your own journey, even when the way seems dark and hopeless. Remember that I am your light and your strength. I will be with you, guiding and protecting you at every step. I also want you to know that truth and justice are your greatest allies. In the world, you will find many distractions and false promises, but staying true to the principles of honesty and integrity will keep you grounded and safe. The truth acts like an anchor, holding you firm amid life's storms. Never compromise your values for promises of immediate gain or for social pressure. Now, son, I want you to remember the power of prayer. Prayer is your direct connection with me, and it is through it that we can communicate, seek guidance, and find comfort in moments of doubt and uncertainty. Direct your heart toward me in prayer, and I will respond with the peace and clarity you need. Know that I'm always listening even when you do not perceive it. My presence is with you in every moment, and I know every desire of your heart. Sometimes the answer to your prayer may come in unexpected ways, but trust that I have a perfect plan for you. Every step you take toward me is a step toward true fulfillment and peace. Never forget that your journey is unique and precious. Do not compare yourself to others, as each person has their own path to follow. Celebrating the victories of others and rejoicing in their achievements is a way to create space for your own blessings. The kindness and generosity you show to the world will return to you multiplied. So continue to walk with courage and faith. Keep your heart open to the opportunities that I will place before you and use your talents to do good. Your life is a gift and what you decide to do with it can impact the world in ways you may never imagine. I am with you every step of the way, guiding and protecting you. Trust me, son and live the life I have prepared for you with joy and gratitude. Your story is still being written, and I can't wait to see all the wonders you will accomplish. Go forth with courage and faith. The light that shines within you is more powerful than any darkness you may encounter. I am your God, and with me, Everything is possible. Let us pray together in gratitude. Dear Heavenly Father, in this moment of reflection and gratitude, I come before you with a heart full of praise and recognition. I deeply thank you for every day you have granted me, for every dawn that illuminates my path, and for every night that provides rest and renewal. You are the light that guides my steps and the love that sustains my soul. Thank you, Lord, for your infinite goodness and mercy. 
You are always by my side, even in the darkest hours, offering your protection and guidance. Your constant presence is a comfort amidst the storms of life and a source of strength in my weaknesses. I am grateful for your unconditional love, which never fails and never wavers. I thank you for every blessing I receive, big or small, from the warmth of the sun to the freshness of the breeze. Every detail of creation reminds me of your greatness. I am grateful for the people you have placed in my life, for the friendships that have enriched my journey, and for the family that supports me with love. I value each relationship and strive to cultivate kindness and love in all my interactions. Thank you for granting me the courage to face challenges and the wisdom to learn from difficulties. Even when I encounter trials and tribulations, I find strength in your divine embrace. Every difficulty is an opportunity to grow and become closer to you, and I am thankful for every lesson I have learned along the way. I thank you for your abundant grace that covers all my mistakes and weaknesses. I understand that without your help, I am nothing, and I can do nothing. Your grace is the balm that heals my wounds and the light that illuminates my path. I thank you for always reminding me of the importance of humility and gratitude, for teaching me to seek your will in all things. Lord, I also thank you for the opportunities you have given me to serve others and make a difference in the world. Every act of kindness and every gesture of love is a reflection of your love for us. May I continue to be an instrument of your peace and your light, sharing your message of hope and salvation with those around me. In this moment of prayer, I ask you to continue to guide and protect me. Strengthen my faith and renew my hope. Help me to remain steadfast in my purpose to follow your will and to live according to the principles you have taught me. I aspire to be a source of inspiration and encouragement for others, demonstrating through my actions your goodness and love. I thank you, Father, for every day lived, for every breath I take, and for every opportunity to grow in your grace. May my life be a testimony of your love, and may I always reflect your light and truth in everything I do. In the name of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, who taught us to live in love and gratitude, I ask you, Amen.